All right, Mr. Sotko here, and welcome back to another Warcraft 3 replay cast. Today it's a two versus two on Death Trap between our teal orc player Grubby and his ally, the blue human player Yaz, versus the second team. It's going to be our red team, our red orc player Frenzies, and our red human player Gooch. And I still don't know how to uh, pronounce that name. Uh, I've casted about uh, two or three games of this guy, and uh, I'm just going to go with Gooch because Gooch is a pretty funny word. So he is Gooch to me. And uh, if you guys are wondering, hey, this sounds a bit familiar. I'm pretty sure you casted a game between these two guys before, and you would be right, except this is a different game, and I've never casted a game on Death Trap before, so this should be a treat to cast indeed. And uh, while we are speeding up, we can take a look at some of the creeps here. And Frostro Warlord, uh, Rock Golems, so tons of creeps on this map, so it should be a delight. And of course, all really good players Ready and frenzies I have casted uh, numerous Is times. And Yas going with the Archmage. Krebby, of course, with the Blade Master going after the Murloc Nightcrawler camp. The militia on the way to the Rock Golem camp. And on the other oh, side, we have a Paladin start. And that is going to be interesting. Usually a Paladin start followed by a Blood Mage. So that the Blood Mage can transfer mana to the Paladin so that the heals can continue on and on. And Blade Master on the way. Um, Franzies. But a little bit too late. The Archmage already got the main group of creeps. Gets level 2. Gets the Potion of Greater Mana. Grubby circlet of nobility from that Murloc camp up top. And on the other side here, our Paladin creeping out and leaving the Tome of Intelligence. Probably not a good idea with the Paladin, considering you need all the mana you can get. And Franzi's going strong here on the Militia and Peasants. Our forces are under attack. And unfortunately, with the Warcraft 3 replays, if you are focusing on a different team or a different player, you can't actually see the Blademaster um, on the minimap when he is Windwalked. So that is part of the old Warcraft 3 way of life. Uh, Archmage clears out the camp there, gets a Tome of Agility. Blademaster surrounded and just gets enough mana to make it on out of there. Ready to work. And Grubby Sport and Squirrel Speed, two healing salves. And Paladin, now level two. Claws of Attack plus six. Maybe transferred to his allies, Blade Master, at some point. And we'll have to see what second hero he gets, because he will definitely be getting a second hero, as nobody really ever just goes just a Paladin. That would be kind of silly. And yeah, Frenzies may have been trying to creep this. Gonna lose a Grunt. And the Kobold Taskmaster will go down for Yaz. And Grubby on the way to Franzi's base here. Franzi's pretty low on that Archmage Bandit Camp. Trying to be crept out here, but uh, going to be difficult. And the Kobold Camp goes down. Leaves a circlet of nobility for Yaz's Archmage. And we'll check Job the human done. here. Going to Tier 2. And so we'll see what... His second hero choice is going to be battle over the creep camp. And still a level one blade master for Frenzies. Job done. And now the Archmage and Grubby will go after the Taskmaster camp together. And looks like the Archmage is going to step back a little bit here and leave the experience for Grubby. Gets a second circlet of nobility. Plus four to all stats for Gribby's Blade Master. Not too much going on for Franzi's Blade Master. Really, pretty much nothing. Just a healing salve. And now creeping out uh, this section here. Gets Slippers of Agility. Also sporting a Cloak of Selling. And Franzi's Blade Master in trouble here. It loses the Blade Master. And now Team Red in a bit of trouble here, under attack, without the help of the Blade Master. But uh, the Paladin is here, and he is not afraid. I always like the Paladin quotes. Francis Burrow here going down at a pretty fast rate, but also being repaired at a very fast rate. And 
We're taking a lot of resources here from Franzi's doing so. And don't know if it's going to stay or not. Paladin trying all he may to take out the Blade Master there. And it does force him to walk away. And we'll keep that burrow for now as long as they keep repairing that. And interestingly enough, that Paladin level 3. So crept pretty quickly. Rifleman with the Paladin with their high health. Able to holy light them fairly easily. And still has that clause of attack plus six, which I would uh, think would be transferred over to the Blade Master. Would be a little bit better, and he does transfers both the clause of attack and slivers of agility plus three to the Blade Master, giving plus nine to the Blade Master. So that is a wise choice indeed. Second hero out for Gooch, and it's going to be the Blood Mage indeed. And once again, yeah, the Blood Mage can transfer mana to another player. And so he'll be transferring mana, stealing mana, and transferring mana, that is, uh, to the Paladin. And those heals will continue as long as that Paladin has mana. And stealing all of this Ogre Magi going way over a cap there. Warsong Battle Drums for the Orc. Picked up by the Paladin, which is probably a better bet, as the Orc can get a Kodo Beast at some point. And won't really need those battle drums around all the time. Ogre Magi camp here for Yaz. And second hero out is going to be a Mountain King. Second hero is out for Grubby as well. It's a Torn Chieftain. And Magi goes down, pushing a greater mana for the Mountain King, which is going to be very, very, very useful. And Toma Strength here drops Creep Camp crept out. And not sure what dropped here. I think maybe they're pushing a greater mana for the uh, Paladin there. Grubby sporting two circuits of nobility. Also found himself a Gloves of Haste at some point and purchased a potion of lesser, lesser invulnerability. And now the Arc Mage is going to go after the Ogre Lord camp here, but this is a pretty big camp here. Not a lot of units. So we'll take a little while to take this down. But uh, so far seems to be going pretty good. Footman in a bit of trouble here. Need to micro that out and does not lose the Footman Medallion of Courage for the Archmage. Strength not particularly useful for the Archmage, gives him a little bit of health. But uh, the Intelligence sure is. Could transfer that to the Mountain King, could be a little bit better. Tome of Retraining also purchased by the Archmage for some blizzarding later on. And Gooch now on the base of uh, Grubby here. Torn Totem coming up. It's very unusual. Two Torn Totems. And all the riflemen here take down uh, the Burrow. Also an attack going on at the same time with Franzi's at Yaw's base. Takes out the Arcane Vault. And you now Grubby defending his base in the Burrow's Torn Totem is almost complete. And a big nasty flame strike there is going to hit a lot of peons. And misses the initial damage, but uh, still will take some fire damage on the ground. Krebby's attacking the base here. And trying to take it down all he may, but is being repaired at the same time. And god, there's a whole mess of action going on. Now Concrete burrows. And Yaws GPs to the base here. And forces away Gooch. I like to say Gooch. Town is under siege. Smell magic in the air. It's probably something more like Goosh, but uh, God, Gooch is just way too funny not to say. And now uh, Town Portal coming here, and it's gonna be Grubby this time defending a Yaz. And Playmaster is nearly level three. And same thing with Franzi's, both nearly level three. Or no, I was actually looking at Franzi's. <laughs> Grubby's Playmaster is already level three. Job's done. And Gooch saying Torrin soon, but no burrows. And he has at 39 of 40 food, so he cannot make any at the Our moment. And a nice stun there gets both heroes and Squirrel Speed is going to try and surround this Shadow Hunter. Surround uh, is successful. For now, Blade Master is blocking a small portion there. If he moves, he might be able to get away. And now some Blizzard coming down on the Rifleman. Shadowhunter will survive for now. And 
Now Grubby and Gooch going at it. Torin gonna get caught up in between the units there. Takes a whole mess of pepper from the Rifleman. Yaw's in a bit of trouble now. And Yaw's will lose the Archmage. No town portal there to be able to get out. Our hero has forces are under attack. And just to let you guys know, a little while back, I was casting a whole mess of Grubby replays. And, um, and then I kind of stopped um, just to uh, switch things up a little bit. But I actually have 10 replays, and that's including this one. So I have about nine more after this one of Grubby replays. Um, some are somewhat old, some are somewhat new. So, guys, get ready for another wave of Grubby replays. So if you guys really, really like Grubby replays, go ahead and subscribe, because there's going to be a whole mess of them coming. And the battle is on for Yaz's base here. And a whole mess of militia dying all over the place here. And stealing mana from the Torrin Chieftain. No more stuns for you. Torrin in a bit of trouble here, down to 250 health. And Rifleman proving to be quite successful here. And we just go after the altar. The Archmage is nearly revived. And the Mountain King now surrounded. And we'll lose the Mountain King. Thunderclap, though, hits some units as a final screw you before he dies. And now we'll need to altar revive Yaz's units. And the knight, or rather tavern revive, my bad. The knight to go down as well for Yaz. So now Team Red doing pretty I well here. Yaz is base in a lot of trouble. Knight trying to get in the back of the base, trying to get away from the raiders there. Don't want to get ensnared outside. And Priest still on the way. And Yaz may be abandoning the base, still making knights, however. Make it a stay in the back there and hope for the best. And gonna make, gonna get a scroll of town portal perhaps? Nope, no scroll of town portal, but there is a bunch of torn, one torn, supporting a sav right now. And priests getting their mana drawn by the blood mage, blood mage over mana, over capacity, whatever. And still drawing even more mana from these priests. Priests are just about useless now with no mana. And the knight caught up in all the trouble as well. And knight better at least attack something. And he's desperately trying to get out of there. He might be able to get out through that way, but uh, I think that's not going to be the case. And now ensnared, Yaz's base is totally screwed. And Grubby's still on the way, taking a long way around there. And Tavern revives the Archmage. Still has a few select units from Yaws. And the Torrent just not going to be enough to take out all of this. And even though they do a lot of damage to the Riflemen, here come the Griffins. That is going to do it for the Torrin for sure. And now they're just going to selectively go after individual Torrin and take them out with the additional magic damage to the heavy armor. And Team Yaz and Grubby going to GG out, leaving Gooch. And Yaz are winners. So pretty good game there. And started off pretty well for Yaz and Grubby. But in the end, not so good. And all the mana, the really, really good combination of Paladin and Blood Mage. Don't see that very often, but when it does, it's just such a good combination. And I think it's really, really underused. Um, you know, you can take all the mana away from casters, heroes, and when you're low on mana on the Paladin, or even on your your uh, um, allies' heroes, such as the Shadow Hunter, you can just transfer mana to either one of these and continue healing up your army. So it's a really good combination. But like I said, I have nine more Grubby replays to cast. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to cast them all in a row and just give you guys nine replays in a row or ten replays in a row. But um, either way, there's going to be a whole mess of them coming. I have them all uh, ready to go. Uh, but I hope you guys enjoyed this replay, and I will see you guys next time.